Hey, this is going to be a really quick video explaining how to add your own custom samples to Beatbox. Because a few weeks back I was trying to do this and I couldn't really find any good videos explaining it. So I thought I might as well make my own for you guys. As of the time that I'm recording this video, you can't actually do this with Beatbox. You have to do it with Ultrabox, which is a modded version of Beatbox. It's a good idea to get custom with these modded versions anyway because they have so many more features and they add a lot to the software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Ultrabox, head over to the edit button on the side here and click it and go all the way down to add custom samples. And then just click the add sample button here. And this will open up a window and it's asking for a URL. So what this is, is a link to a file storing website. So this could be File Garden, Dropbox. I'm going to be using File Garden because it's what I'm used to using. So once you've opened up your preferred file storing website, you will need to sign in. And once you've done that, with File Garden, there should be an upload button on the left here. So click that and then select which sample you want to use. Now, the sample actually does have to be a WAV file. So just select the file that you want to use and then hit upload. Nice. Now, over here, there should be a copy URL button. So just hit that and then head back over to Ultrabox and paste that in. Now you can just click OK and it should reload the website. So in order to use this sample that you've just uploaded, you actually need to select the chip instrument. So let's select that and then change the wave here. And scroll all the way down and your sample should be at the bottom here. So select that. And now if you place a note, yeah, this is the sample that I uploaded. You can change the fade so that it lasts longer. If it's too long, it will play the sound twice. You can hear it kind of echoing there. If it's too short, then it won't play the, the whole sample. So you want to get that just right. And then you can mess around with different pitches. You can make it really low, you can make it really high. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.